A historic and bittersweet night at the Cambrai County War Memorial as the Johnstown Chiefs play their final game in front of a sold out crowd. Good evening, everyone. It was a special night at the War Memorial, although not the one many hockey fans in Johnstown could envision. The Chiefs played their final game tonight before moving to Greenville, South Carolina this summer. A sold out crowd was on hand to witness the last game in the 22 year history of the ECHL's only remaining original franchise. Before the game, the Chiefs unveiling a banner for the fans, which will hang from the rafters, and the Chiefs players showing their appreciation as well. And the fans return the appreciation for Ross Sinkowicz took a beating here, but some all-time hockey right off the bat. Moments later, Elmira's Brendan Connolly with some pretty moves behind the net. The feed to Wes Cunningham makes it one to nothing. Later in the first, Jackals breaking in once again. The initial shot is saved, but R.J. Anderson, like a baseball bat, hits it out of mid air, makes it two to nothing. Chiefs would get the fans into it though. Moments later, Dan Collins' first shot is saved, but if at first you don't succeed, try again, my friend. Makes it two to one. One of his two goals. It was four one in the second. Sean Berkstresser here, right on the door. Step, but Julian Ellis and his highway robbery. Jackals would go on to win 5 to 1. Troy Schwab scored with 10 seconds to go. He is your final goal scorer in the history of the Johnstown Chiefs.